Hey guys, it's Catherine. <coughs> Woo! I'm sorry, I'm getting over cold. So today I'm gonna try to blow through my eyeshadow collection. My eyeshadow collection is my biggest um, like makeup products that I've gathered over the years. So I'm just gonna jump in because I do have a lot, and I know people people just don't watch videos over like five minutes long. So we're gonna jump in. First palette, it's Judy Time Palette. I think every this palette speaks for itself. Everybody loves Judy on YouTube. Um, these colors aren't like created by her, they're from BH Cosmetics, um, but these colors, all of them go together really well. Two of my favorites are these, I don't wear them on it every day, but for like special occasion, um, I wore these for prom, beautiful, you can um, make them more pigmented by adding more or less pigmented by just doing a little bit. Um, I also really like um, this brown color. Great for a crease color, you can blend it out easily, you can add more, you add less. So yeah, I think I got this for $10 or $14, I can't remember, it was a sale. Second palette is, and this is like actual palettes and actual like singles and quads. Physicians Formula, the Nudes palette. Um, great, you kind of have to get past the first layer, and that's with a lot of these things in here. You have to get past the first layer, and then it works great. And I think I got this for $7. It's, it was on sale. I think it's originally $10. Look how teeny this is, though. I thought it was going to be bigger. So I feel like this should be a lot cheaper. Um, I have this Sonia Kashuk Quad in Fair and Square. I got this for Christmas one year. I wanted a different color, but my dad didn't realize I was requesting, like, a specific, uh, like, quad. He just picked up whatever one he saw. Um... So, this one is also really comparable with the e.l.f. Uh, butternut palette. They both have the pink, they both have an, a light and dark brown. Only thing different is that this has a shimmery white and this just has kind of a shimmery color. Um, this, I don't know how much this one is, but I know this one's only a dollar. So, and they are both very pigmented, both very last a long time. Um, yeah, I really like this one, very pigmented. really like this one, very pigmented. Um, you know, it's just the price difference. Let's see. I have these two cheap palettes that I never use. I don't even know where I got them. This one I actually am going to try out because it is a cream palette. Who knows where I got it from. And then this one I need, never use. I think I'm going to throw that one away. Um, <clears throat> this is from Dollar Tree, I think. Azia Rocks. So, you know, I'll let you know, y'all know if I find a gem in that one. Then I have this Wet n Wild palette. This was probably my first palette. Um, I loved this color. No, this color right here. It was like a perfect shimmery gold champagne color. And obviously it's gone now. Um, but both these two browns. I love a light brown and dark brown. That's what I live off of. Um, they are great colors and my light disappeared. Thank you. What's funny about Wet n Wild is they went through a time where they redid their formula of their colors and nobody liked it so they put it back to the old formula. Um, I have this CoverGirl single eyeshadow in champagne. Beautiful. Used the best out of it. Still love it but I've got a new eyeshadow so it's kind of got pushed aside. Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. My best friends went in together and got this for me and my twin sister. So like Instead of paying like $50, I only paid $25, and it was for two persons, I mean two people, so it's like they're paying $12.50 um, per present. That's pretty good, that's a good price for my birthday present, because usually I have to spend like $20 plus dollars on my friends. Love this. First, they have a lot of fallout, and they don't really get good color pigment. You have to get past that first layer. I'm telling you, a lot of eyeshadows, you gotta scrub it, or get down with that brush, and um, yeah. So then I have this e.l.f. Long Lasting Luxurious Eyeshadow. This is the weirdest thing. I don't know what is like up with this eyeshadow, but it's more like a glitter. It's on this bottom part of my hand, if you can see it. It is weird. It's not like a regular eyeshadow. It's kind of like goo. <laughs> but it works great. It's very shimmery. It doesn't really have like a, sim like a base color. It's more just like sparkles. Um, and only a couple dollars because Elf. Then I have this Elf eyeshadow duo in black licorice. Only complaint about this is I wish the black was more of a black and not a gray shimmery color. Um, both very pigmented. Both can be used, I mean, like worked up to extreme color. 
Then I have this e.l.f. eyeshadow stick and I swatched it in the middle with that shimmery gold color. I only use this a couple times because it's hard to work into the lid. It kind of just, when you work it in, it kind of just works into your um, finger. So, eh, I think that was only a dollar. Um, I have the Inked and Pink Maybelline 24, the color tattoo. Um, yeah, I thought I would like, I saw a tutorial on this and so I got it. But then I just didn't look the same on me. And then I have the... Uh, color tattoo in Too Cool and I actually forgot I had this because I was buying all this new makeup and forgot I had this little guy so I'm glad I did this because I forgot I had him. Then I have this e.l.f. smudge pot in Back to the Basics. I don't really like it. Too coppery for me. I feel like copper looks weird on my skin tone. Um, so I'm going to probably have to try this out <coughs> a little more. Then I have this LA Colors Mineral Eyeshadow in this really big gold color. I got this because I thought it would be similar to this one, the white and wild color that I love so much. But, mm, no. I just have it now if I ever want to do like a gold makeup. Then I have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Sparkle Nude. Y'all see this in, in a haul recently. And then I have the Milk Pencil. The mint milk. And how are you supposed to, like, when it gets down there, how are you supposed to get it out? Because I've been using, like, a small, like, lipstick brush to get it out. Because I'm not wasting all that product. But, like, is there a sharpener or something? Like, I'm really confused. If you know how to get those out, let me know. Then I have the 28 Neutral Palette from Coastal Scents. Susie actually just got this for me. It's already dirty. Um, for my birthday. And so I don't have much to say about this yet. But I'm so excited to use all these beautiful colors and I'm sure and I also have this warm palette in 88 colors and I'm sure there's some of repeat colors but I feel like when they're this small you almost don't get the full potential of the color and I hardly ever use this which is bad because I should use it because it has so many beautiful colors but again you kind of have to get past that first layer to get the colors um, so yeah, I would probably definitely go with this big palette instead of this little palette because chances are you're not going to use all these colors and you have a good, better chance of using these colors. So, I just blew through that because I filmed it before and it was like 20 minutes long. I was like, oh gosh, no one is going to watch this. So if you have any questions about these eyeshadows that I showed, just let me down, know down below. If you have a channel you'd like for a subscribe, let us know. If, I, if you subscribe to me and I haven't subscribed back to you, let me know. I don't care. I'll subscribe to anybody. I hope you guys are liking this channel so far. We are growing pretty fast. Well, not pretty fast, but pretty fast for starting out YouTubers. And I just love making videos um, and watching all your videos. Y'all are some creative people out there. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.